We're in London at Huawei's pre-Mobile World Congress briefings. I'm here with Peter Zhu. Peter, can you just tell us a little bit about the importance of 4.5G in the migration towards 5G? What is 4.5G and why is it important to operators? Okay, um, 4.5G is very important. We all understand that definitely 5G will come. But from now on, we need to develop 5G-oriented services. And also, we need to explore the business opportunities for mobile operators. Therefore, we need to introduce more advanced technologies, even 5G technologies, into existing network, so 4G network. To make 4G network has an evolution. Okay. This is what we call 4.5G. So it's important to have those kind of new technologies into 4G network and also to explore 5G-oriented services together to explore more business opportunities, like what we said, a video household and also go vertical. OK. So uh, in 4.5G or LTA, LTA uh, Pro, as it's also known, uh, massive MIMO is one of the technologies that can be introduced a ahead of 5G. What kind of advantage does this bring to operators? Right. Um, we understand that when 5G comes, definitely there will be more spectrums and a much wider bandwidth. But current 4G network, we need to maximize the existing spectrum to improve the spectrum efficiency. That's a motivation of massive MIMO and also other MIMO schemes, for example, 4x4 MIMO. Therefore, to maximize existing network infrastructure investment, by improving the spectrum efficiency and also to make sure using that mobile operator can further introduce more video services to connect more household with broadband and also to have wider coverage to fulfill narrowband IoT that kind of go vertical machine. Right. So it's important on introducing new MIMO schemes to the existing networks. Okay. Um, so another key area that uh, network operators can help to expand their business ahead of the 5G era is by targeting more on uh, verticals. Uh, how can um, Huawei help operators do that to, to shift their focus more towards vertical strategies? The mobile broadband industry right now, most of them focus on people, but it will change. It will migrate more focus to connected things. However, the technologies on connected things somehow is different from what we are doing on focusing people. For example, the requirement for the uplink, for example, the latency requirement. Therefore, we need innovative technologies to make sure our customers could use existing networks for those kind of business models. But on the other hand, we also understand it's not just about the technology for go for vertical. It's also about the business model. It's right. all about uh, platforms. We need a new platform to enable those kind of business models and also to work together with many of the third parties for that kind of uh, businesses. So we are also together with mobile operator to encourage more third parties join the game to set up a very good ecosystems for that kind of go vertical mission. Right, excellent. Okay, Peter, thank you very much for speaking to us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.